Hi, this short tutorial is to show you how to use the speciation simulation. I made this simulation by using NetLogo environment. Um, this simulation allows you to explore both allopatric and sympatric speciation. Okay, I'm going to uh, introduce how to use this and the underlying rules included in this simulation. So if you look at the interface of the simulation, you can see some sliders uh, which allow you to set up some parameters for the simulation. You will see some buttons here which allow you to control the simulation. Now, this is the simulation window. You will see actually a group of fish. They move, they change uh, here over time. And here pretty much uh, are the data collection um, area. You can see some numerical data show here. They're all in time, um, real time. And you can also see the data um, is plotted here, different type of data plot, different in plotting in a different ways. Okay, so now um, what you can test, you can explore um, the initial fish number. So basically like if you start with a small fish population, what's going to happen? If you start with a large um, fish population, what's going to happen? You can also explore the um, lake um, capacity. Basically like if this lake can only hold a small population, how that affect fish uh, e um, evolve. Evolving if um, this lake can hold a lot of fish, now uh, what can happen? Dispersal pretty much means how far the fish uh, is able to move around the lake. They, if you set high, then they can move uh, further. If set low, they just um, move in a very limited amount of distance um, per hypothetical year. And you can also uh, set the um, fish body color because actually we are really um, explore the fish body color um, by looking at that we try to figure out whether st the fish is um, evolved into another species not um, okay so you can turn it on or off um, and then set the fish body color as uh, heritable or inheritable you can change the fish color variation range, which means you can start with a group of fish with relatively different body color, or you can start with a group of fish with similar body color. And here is a mutation rate, pretty much show, uh, it allows you to set up um, how many fish uh, will be different from their parents. So here, basically, out of 200, off, 200 offspring, uh, how many fish will be different from their parents? It can be either darker or lighter. And of course, you can set up different level of natural selection pressure. Here will be um, zero, that means no pressure, or you can set it to this end, which means you can have a stronger um, pressure. And the stress of mating preference, um, the same thing, you can set it at zero, which means the female fish will randomly pick their mate. Uh, it doesn't care what the mate look like. Or you can set this really high, which means the female will become more picky. They will pick uh, the male, which uh, has really similar body color to the female. So, um, besides these, uh, you can also set up some um, geographic boundary to divide the um, po fish population. So uh, you can see, uh, once you have this boundary, then the fish cannot um, move across the boundary. So you pretty much just stop the gene flow among these two uh, subpopulations. You can also differentiate the environment and see uh, what's going to happen if the two areas have different uh, natural selection pressure. And you can take them off by clicking this. Okay, now I'm going to show you um, allopatric and uh, sympatric speciation procedure in this simulation. So first, let's just leave all the setup uh, as it. And we set it up and we just use this parameter. 
and then we can just run the simulation. You can see we start with a um, hundred fish, but we quickly reach to six hundred. So once the population reached to the six hundred individuals, and then each of these fish will has fifty percent of a chance to die, no matter their um, and regardless their color, their size, their gender, their age. No, they just have the same chance to die out. Um, so the max non capacity will um, maintain at 600. And then now if we want to separate them, now we have two subpopulations. And then now here you can see this plot start to um, give some data. Um, it seems the upper area have a slightly darker average color, but lower area have a slightly lighter average color. Well, okay. And now if we increase the natural selection pressure here, then what's gonna happen here? Hmm, seems nothing happened. We did not, we don't see any big difference. Well, that's okay. Maybe just because they have a same um, background, the soil is subject to the same um, type of natural section. So how about we differentiate the environment? Okay. Now you can speed it up, speed up the simulation by pull this bar so it make that run faster. Okay, see so now what happened here. Um, in class, you probably need to run this um, usually uh, three minutes, three to five minutes. Uh, that's very normal. Okay, now I start to see some difference here, and I see uh, seems the upper area, the main color, fish color, kind of go up, which means it could become lighter, and uh, at the same time, the lower area seems their main color go down, means they become darker, which is pretty much understandable because um, the lower area has a darker background and the fish living here, if they have darker body color, they are less likely to become a prey. They're more likely to survive. Okay, and same thing happened to the upper area. So the lighter individuals tend to survive. Okay, yeah, we can we pretty much see this. So if we um, wait for a few more minutes, we can see um, more clear pattern shows here. Right. Um, yeah. So you can also put a, a relatively strong natural selection pressure actually really force these two subpopulation de to diverge. Um, but you should need to be careful because you might crash the population. Okay, see, uh, the, the divergence is really clear here. And also, very clear here. All right, this is allopatric speciation. Now I'm going to show you sympatric speciation. So um, let's set it up. Pretty much put everything back and the potential section as zero and it increase the strength of mating preference. Now let's run the simulation here. Okay, because this is a sympatric speciation, um, there we don't put any geographic barrier. Um, we don't need to differentiate the environment. We only just increase the um, strength of mating preference to see what's going to happen. Now you can see we already have one, two, three, four, a little, five, little one here, five peaks, which means um, this seems that we at least have five little colonies here. Um, each of them has different color which is also understandable because the female in this population only prefer uh, the male has the similar color to um, the female. So um, over time, you, know, you can see pretty much the darker um, fish only mate with darker one and lighter only mate with lighter one and really this preference um, drive the divergence procedures. Okay, and we can see uh, it's already really clear here.
All right. Okay. Besides that, uh, try the allopatric and sympatric speciation. A student can even try more um, by using the simulation. They can try the dispersal. Okay. What if the fish can move um, much farther? Uh, in the lake than just in the limited area and what if we have more offspring uh, mutate they, they, they become more different from their parents and also you can even put back the natural selection pressure see how that interplay with this uh, mating preference so all kinds of things can be test, uh, in, tested in this simulation okay um, I, I guess that's all I want to quickly introduce so let me really think. Thanks, bye.